Welcome to tonight's evening prayer. Tonight we will be spending some time in prayer for the world. As the COP26 conference begins. To pray for the leaders of the world and the decisions as we come to a time of climate crisis. To pray for humility, for wisdom and for action that is based around the most vulnerable in our society and world. Let us take a moment to remember that we are in our Creator's presence. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. My heart tells of your word. Seek my face. Your face, Lord, will I seek. The land cries out to you, O Lord. The land mourns, and all who dwell on it languish. The land cries out to you, O Lord. The beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and even the fish of the sea are perishing. The land cries out to you, O Lord. For the earth is scorched with fire, the air polluted and the waters choked with waste. The land cries out to you, O Lord. The ice melt and the sea rage. The waters surge and the floods devastate the land. The land cries out to you, O Lord. The water springs are silent and the streams run dry. The green places are a dry land where there is no water. The land cries out to you, O Lord. The fertile ground is exhausted. The land has become a parched and windswept wasteland. The land cries out to you, O Lord. The holy cities have become a wilderness. Zion has become a desolation. The land cries out to you, O Lord. So turn us again, O Lord, and come to our help. The land cries out to you, O Lord. Drop down, O heavens, from above, and let righteousness rain down upon the poor. The land cries out to you, O Lord. Let the earth open and let the wholeness 
and healing spring forth. The land cries out to you, O Lord. Then the wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. The land cries out to you, O Lord. The mountains and the hills shall break forth into singing and the trees of the forest shall clap their hands. The land cries out to you, O Lord. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. The land cries out to you, O Lord. The hand of the Lord came upon me, and he brought me out by the Spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of a valley. It was full of bones. He led me all around them. There were very many lying in the valley, and they were very dry. He said to me, Mortal, can these bones live? I answered, O Lord God, you know. Then he said to me, Prophesize to these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to those bones, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. I will lay sinews on you and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live. And you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as I had been commanded. And as I prophesied, suddenly there was a noise, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to bone to its bone. I looked and there were sinews on them and flesh had come upon them and skin had covered them but there was no breath in them. Then he said to me Prof- prophesy to the breath prophesy mortal and say to the breath Thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe upon these slain, that they may live. I prophesied as he had commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived, and stood on their feet a vast multitude. Then he said to me, Mortal, these bones are the whole house of Israel. They say, Our bones are dried up and our hope is lost. We are cut off completely. 
Therefore prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, I am going to open your graves and bring you up from your graves. O my people, and I will bring you back to the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord when I open your graves and bring you up from your graves. O my people, I will put my spirit within you and you shall live and I will place you on your own soil. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken and will act, says the Lord. Here ends the reading. Let us pray to God, who is creator, redeemer and sustainer. Loving God, we praise your name with all you have created. You are present in the whole universe and in the smallest of creatures. We acknowledge the responsibility you have placed upon us as stewards of your creation. May the Holy Spirit inspire all political leaders at at COP26 as they seek to embrace the changes needed to foster a more sustainable society. Instill in them the courage and gentleness to implement fairer solutions for the poorest and most vulnerable and commit their nations to the care of our common home. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the worldwide church. May we speak and act together as we urgently work towards good stewardship of your creation and your presence in all living things. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the world, the interdependence of all living things, the beauty and the flourishing of the planet, plundered and misused for generations by human activity. May we all, through our actions, help repair the harm we have caused. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples already facing drought, flood and storm, that God may grant them strength and hope for the future as they work to adapt to the changing climate. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our parish here in Beckentry South and our local community that through the grace of God, we may examine our environmental impact and make choices for the common good. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. O God, who calls all people to justice and care for the earth, hear and grant these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Eternal Lord, our beginning and our end, bring us with the whole of creation to your glory. Hidden throughout past ages and made known in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us unite all our prayers said and unsaid in the words that Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May God, who made heaven and earth, bless us and keep us. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.